Hi there, Lindsay from Selectronic. I want to share with you today another great case study. And this time, I'm on a rather fancy boat built by Echuca Luxury Houseboats. Today, I'm with, uh, with Andrew, the owner of this wonderful fleet of boats. I want to share with you some of the background and exactly what he's done on this boat from a power point of view. Welcome, Andrew. Thanks, Thank you for uh, joining us today. Tell us a little bit about the company and how you've got to this wonderful project of this boat. Yeah, look, um, we've uh, been in the houseboat game since 2003. Um, we originally purchased a company here in Echuca called uh, Retriever Houseboats. And um, yeah, I suppose we've just uh, been on a uh, massive ride, which has involved um, some of the amazing electronic gear. When we first bought the boats, uh, I opened uh, the back cupboard on one of these boats and said, well, what's this little blue box with a PowerPoint on the front of it? And, then sort of, uh, you know, discovered the world of uh, inverter charges and um, and uh, haven't looked back, really. We've uh, been a, a big fan of uh, what Selectronic does. We've, uh, you know, been through the PS1 product, uh, the earlier SP Pro products, and um, now onto the Series 2. And uh, obviously this, this project that we're here talking about today, which, um, you know, we, we can't uh, speak more highly of, but uh, has really allowed us to um, I suppose manifest the vision for the product that we have um, for our company and allows us to um, put the type of appliances into the boat where we, we imagine our company heading into the future. So, so what was this particular project? This boat is called? This boat's called Absolute. Absolute, which Absolute. is part of the thinking behind the project. Yeah. Absolute look, best. It's, well, it's, you know, I, I think uh, it will speak for itself and uh, as everyone will see. Um, look, it's, uh, we've got five bedrooms with en suites on board. Um, we've got reverse cycle heating and cooling into the bedrooms. Um, you know, the, one of the, the main goals that we wanted to achieve with this boat with our electrical system was to be able to run the uh, reverse cycle into the bedrooms overnight. Um, puts obviously the fridges and other loads on, on board the boat without having the generator um, starting. And, um, you know, with this new parallel uh, inverter-based system that you guys have provided us, um, we're, we're achieving that. We're getting some absolutely whopping loads on this boat. You know, we're seeing you know, 100, 120 uh, kilowatt hours per day um, that are getting gobbled up by our clientele. And, um, it's just you know, delivering it seamlessly, so it's a uh, credit to uh, what you guys can uh, provide. So how did you use 120, what's 124 kilowatt hours in a day? That's a lot for an average house. How do you use that on a boat? Yeah, well look, you know, we'll go for a bit of a walk around and I'll, I'll show you some of the gear that's on board, but um, you know, we've got hot tubs, we've got induction cooktops, we've got reverse cycle heating and cooling, which runs into all of the bedrooms. Um, so you can come on this boat and want for nothing? Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. Right. So when you started off to design this boat, you wanted to do, you've got reduced your generator running time, because obviously there's a, mm. a high reliance on the generator uh, from a noise point of view, I guess also from a cost point of view for you. How did you achieve it, how, or how did you go about that? Yeah, so look, um, we obviously, you know, we've had a great relationship with you guys for quite some time now, and um, we also, uh, you know, use um, uh, one of the installers, Martin, um, from Sunreal, um, and you know, we basically started a three-way discussion um, around you know how we can try and achieve that. Uh, we've probably um, held our powder somewhat on going towards lithium batteries, but obviously we get the advantage of the, the um, linear charge curves and all that kind of stuff from uh, the lithium batteries, which reduces our generator run times. So we we started having this discussion around um, moving to quite a large battery bank. So and the lithium obviously, and a bigger generator. So when we actually, when the generator does come on, mm -hmm. uh, we charge hard and fast, and um, we can also supply the, the significant load to the boat at the same time, so. So it means um, you get the generator off faster, so. Correct. To the yep. client, you're yep. running the generator less that, That's right, and, and from our perspective too, in terms of maintenance and uh, upkeep, and obviously turnover of um, equipment in a commercial scenario where these boats are, you know, doing uh, significant numbers of hours per year uh, it means that we're not having to replace equipment as frequently as well so there's yeah. real benefits to us as well and you've added some solar i believe on this boat as well yeah look right? we've got uh, around nine kilowatts of solar um on the roof nine uh, kilowatts how did you fit yeah. that 
Uh, yeah, it's a bit uh, bit squishy up there. You, you know, you've got to tiptoe around a bit, but um, it's quite a light roof space up the top there. The boat is, you know, probably about um, 18 metres long by 8 metres wide, so we do have a significant roof space mm. on the top of the boat. But we put Wi-Fi on this particular boat as well, which allows us to actually use Select Live now, which is yeah. an amazing product. No, uh, like you know, sitting back in the office and just dialing in and having a look and seeing what's going on. So you can monitor the system from your office um, in a chip Hundred percent. So your clients are hundred fifty k's down the river. You yeah. can still see how it's all going. Correct, correct. And if we need any support from uh, you guys, obviously, you have access to that information as well. So from our perspective, that's another big tick. So I notice other boats you've got. You've got a fleet of these boats now, haven't you? How many boats have you got? Uh, we've got seven in the fleet. You know, they um, range from uh, well, they're all bigger style boats, ten to twelve berth, basically. And your last boat had one seven and a half kilowatt solid tonic SP Pro in it. Yes. Have you accommodated the, the extra power needs of this new boat? Yeah, well, look, obviously, um, this electronic have got this new power chain technology, so we've now got two of the uh, SP Pro units here. So that gives you 15 kilowatts. Yeah, continuous from what I understand. We get yeah. continuous, obviously, the surge ratings, then double as well. Uh, um, a bit more than that. It's about 36. Between those two, we've got 36 kilowatts now of peak power. And that's how we we'd be able to run some of those kitchen appliances and it is turned on for short term. Mm. So we've got double what you've got on the boat. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. Obviously, as I said, we've got the, you know, the solar in there, the Fronius and, uh, and uh, you know, the DC that comes direct into the batteries off the drive engine. And, uh, you know, it's just keep adding it on. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so look, we've got, um, you know, a bit of load on at the moment, I suppose. And yeah, that's 19 kilowatts from loading the bus. Yeah, yeah. So batteries are uh, providing the power at the moment, obviously. The generator's not going to go at this point in time. Um, what do you say? I mean, it's, it's, it's doing, just doing its thing. It's impressive. <laughs>